let's go. All right, so today we have Desiree in the chair. And believe it or not, this is one week healing after um, a huge surgery that I did last week. Uh, it's a root repair surgery. There was a crack in the root on this tooth here. Let me point that out nicer. This one right here. And uh, question is, when you look at it, is where on earth is my cut line? Where is my cut line? Remarkably, I can hardly see where the cut line is. But if we look really closely, there is a cut line just almost fully healed right here. It's on an angle like this. So basically I went across here, from back here, an incision into here. There's an implant too, sorry, just to digress for a quick moment. This is an implant I did a few years ago. See this little guy here? That's an implant here They're going on. So this is, the, this is the cut line. Here was the vertical here, across here, and a vertical here, I opened it up, and there was a, a defect in the bone between the roots here. And I went in there and I smoothed it out and I did a shape, shaping in there, the special set of burrs. And then what I do is, um, I used a high tech material that, we're go that we've shown in my other uh, YouTube videos, the uh, endo sequence. Here it is, let's get a nice slow shot of that. Bioceramic root repair material from Brazzler, US product. It's amazing because, and look at all the patents here. That's really interesting to see too. So US patents, there's one, two, three, four, and European patents. So they don't get ripped off in Europe. Uh, another couple there. For all you lawyer types out there, I wanna let you know that to get a patent, that's probably a few million dollars worth of lawyer's fees to get those patents. Never mind the millions of dollars that they probably invest in, invent, uh, invested in, in uh, uh, making up the material, like uh, designing the material and inventing the material. So it's like a little putty and we use it where the defect is in the root and if we go to the x-ray, we can see it right here placed in here. See that little banana shape there? So that goes onto the root. If you see here, here's the edge of the root and I pretty much got it pretty smooth on the inside there. And there's molecular technology in that, in that ceramic material in there that induces the stem cells of the body to revert or to change into a, a, a cell called an osteoblast, which is a bone producing cell that um, makes bone in the area there. So what do you mean make bone? Well, we know, why is there no bone? Because look, it's a dark hole here. Look, see, it looks like a little tunnel. Looks a little scary actually to go in there actually. It looks kind of a little three dimensional there, but my point is it's dark in the, in the center here. What we do is we'll take an x-ray at six weeks, we'll take an x-ray at let's say four or five months, and hopefully we're gonna see this dark now revert into whitish, which is the bone he healing there. Okay. So this is just, uh, sorry, this is just remarkable healing here. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm personally impressed with it. Desiree is a very healthy individual. So this shows you a lot of gene pooling here. Now I have a stitch to take out here. And it's a very tight stitch, but I just took it out. This is my latest acquisition. I'm very proud of it, everybody. Let's just showcase that. This is the Zeph. Let's get a nice shot of that. Get right in there, tight, tight, tight. This thing is a work of art. I don't know how the Germans do it. Here's a little tip here. See the little side here? So you go underneath the stitch, just catch in the center and go click. As long as you hear that click, you got a cut cut suture. So we just cut one, right? No, There's no injections here, there's no pain here. This one is very tight here. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. It might hurt just a touch. See if I can... Okay, okay, that one's still a little too buried and it's too immature. So I'm gonna see her back in a week and I'm gonna take it out. Right now it's just too buried in there. So, but look, look at that. All right, the color is nice pink. There's a little red, still a little bruising from the surgery, but otherwise a remarkable result. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> 